I think I'll, <clears throat> excuse me, it's still allergy season. Undoubtedly, they're picking peanuts. I think I'll be able to leave the little chicks out and, uh, on a continuous basis because they've been out for quite a while now and, and the pullets have pecked at them a little bit, but mm, they're not chasing them around and all like they did before. I think they've gotten used to them. And the funny thing is when I take them out or let them out, you know, they go over and eat the pullets grower feed and the pullets go over and eat their starter feed. And that hen thinks, well, I gave them all some oats uh, the pullets and the hens, the little ones probably don't even know what it is. They're pecking at it, but uh, she sees some in here the pullets didn't eat, and <laughs> she surely would like to get in here and help herself to them. But that's just like giving corn. You can't give too much of that because it, it heats up their body, and it's, oh, God, it's hot here. All, and it's hot here now. It'll be probably 74 degrees. The lowest it'll drop tonight. <clears throat> so yeah, we're getting there. I'll just get to where I can trust these to come in with the hens every night and I'll be letting everybody out to uh, forage in the daytime. <laughs> they all run to me when, when the bullets get after them. <laughs> protect me, protect me. These are supposed to be olive eggers. I think I told y'all in the first video that I made of them when I got them that they were barred rocks. But um, I went back and looked and no, uh, they're not barred rocks. They're olive eggers. And the two reds are supposed to be Rhode Island reds and the white ones are supposed to be amber links, which is another hybrid. And uh, I don't know why I bought another hybrid. I surely didn't need one. Well, for one thing, I didn't know they were hybrids at the time. I looked them up when I got home, and, well, a few days after I'd gotten them, I looked them up, and, yeah, they're the same thing as these uh, Isa Browns. They're a hybrid. They lay really good for about 18, 20 months, and then they start dropping off, and then their health starts declining. That that part of it really bothers me because I've always had chickens. There's only a few years in my life when I didn't have them, when I had to live in town. But uh, raised on a farm, always had Rhode Island red chickens. The heritage breeds, we had some barred rocks. And um, I, when I was raising my kids and everything, we had chickens, we had the heritage breeds. We didn't, I didn't buy any hybrids. And uh, hatched out my own chicks. Anyway, if I had a setting hen, I'd let her do it. If not, I had an incubator. I'd, say, I'd hatch them. Anyway, to make a long story short, I'm going to try to make this very brief. Um, the Rhode Island Reds and the Olive Eggers, I know I'll, uh, they're good for four or five years as layers. And then I know the Rhode Island Reds, if they're the true heritage breed Rhode Island Reds, would dress out a good bird when it comes time for you to eat it. And I know some people uh, make pets out of their chickens and don't want to think about eating them, but uh, I don't make pets out of mine. I take the best care of my can while I got them. <laughs> and I can't figure out if these pullets are molting or they're pulling their own feathers out or what. See all these feathers in here? I just raked this out yesterday. Well, I just added new uh, bedding to the little cage where the chicks stay at night. But uh, all the feathers and everything I raked out yesterday into a compost pile. And uh, today it's, I guess, maybe that's their baby feathers they're shedding. Because when they molt, they pretty look, they look pretty torn up. And these don't look that way. Now her wing looks a little weird. That's where I cut it yesterday. That's one of the five that went out. Didn't have sense enough to find their way back in through the fence that they went out of. So there's five in here that probably has trouble getting on the roost <laughs> because they fly lopsided. Oh, I'm sorry. That was a crazy laugh. <laughs> I hope everybody has a fantastic week ahead. God bless.